there, welcome back to a brand new video where today we're talking about something which happened a few days ago that the launch of the iPhone 8, basically known as the 7S, and the iPhone X, which is basically the iPhone 10. So two new phones was from the Apple launch and I was, you know, it, it kind of got me thinking. I was like, you know, is it time for me to upgrade from my iPhone 6 Plus? That's right, I'm still rocking out the iPhone 6 Plus, which is this guy here. It, it's, it, well, it's almost three years old. It does the job. It's It's been brilliant. And I've always said to myself, you know, do I wait for the anniversary edition? Obviously, the iPhone X, the iPhone 10 being the anniversary edition. I was like, hmm, should I buy it? So, obviously, I watched, like, the press conference, and it was, like, it looked amazing. And it was nothing really new in terms of from the leaks. Obviously, all the leaks came out probably like, what, two months ago. Pretty much to told us, you know, what it's going to look like and a few other bits and bobs. And obviously, when it launched out, we knew what the design was already going to be. And overall, the conference was amazing. But then it got me thinking, you know, should I upgrade from the iPhone 6 Plus to the iPhone 10? And this is where this video comes in because I really want you guys to comment down below whether or not I should upgrade from the iPhone 6 Plus to the iPhone 10. The reason for this is, is the iPhone 10 is over a thousand pounds, one thousand pounds for the phone itself. The iPhone 7s or the iPhone 8 is actually what it's called, is around about 799 pounds. So I'm like, whoa, like I've had this phone for three years. I think I bought this for like 700 pounds, 750 pounds, a 64 gig model, and it's worked flawlessly ever since. Touchwood. All I use my phone for really is social media. Quick plug, guys. Link down below if you do want to follow me on social media. But I use it for like the Pokemon Go, YouTube, emails, text to my girlfriend, text to my friends, and all that kind of stuff. So it, you know, it really got me thinking, like, should I spend a thousand pounds on a phone? So this is where you guys have to come in. And what we're going to do is we're definitely going to, like, go onto the Apple website, compare the specs from the iPhone 8, also known as the iPhone 7S, versus the iPhone 10, and whether or not it's worth it or not. Because I don't know, like, I, was, I asked my friends, I asked my girlfriend, like, should I upgrade to the iPhone 10? And it's like spending a thousand pounds on a phone when my phone already does what I want it to do. And here's some background information as to why I never upgraded from the iPhone 6 Plus to the 7 Plus. So that's a two year cycle. I normally try and get a phone every two years just because, you know, latest technology and all that kind of stuff. But originally I had the iPhone 4, the iPhone 4S and then the iPhone 6 Plus. Now, the 6 Plus for me is very big. It does what it needs to do. It has a very good retina display, very good camera. It's still fast and so on and so on. I believe iOS 11, which is the late, or the, you know, the upcoming iOS, might support the iPhone 6. And I think after that, they're going to probably just drop it off like they do. Uh, I don't know. We'll have to see what happens there with Apple. But I've had this phone for three years. It, it's not broken. It does what it needs to do. There's no cracks in mint condition. Always had a screen protector on a case and everything like that. But it's like, man. Matt, do you really need to spend a thousand pounds on a phone when your phone does everything you need to do? Basically, the only thing which I can see where an iPhone X would benefit me is maybe portrait mode. I love portrait mode. I love taking photos. So portrait mode was something which I was very jealous about with the iPhone 7. But I'm like a thousand pounds for that map. You could buy, you know, I'm recording on a DSLR camera now. You know, I don't know. Should I spend a thousand pounds on the iPhone X? Please let me know your thoughts, guys, down below. But today's video, we're going to be talking about this. We're going to be heading over to the Apple website right now and pretty much compare the two phones and have a brief discussion whether or not I should upgrade from the iPhone 6 Plus to the iPhone 8 or the iPhone 10. But yes, yeah, so if you do enjoy today's video, then be sure to give a massive thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Comment down below your thoughts regarding this. It's uh, definitely crazy. You know, any of you out there pre-ordering the iPhone X when it comes out in the next, like, few weeks or so. It, it, it's going to be crazy. A thousand pounds for a phone. I don't know, like 700 pounds for a phone. Okay, fair enough. A thousand pounds for a phone is when you sort of think that's four digits, you know, you know, is it worth it? I don't know. This is where I want you guys to comment down below. But anyway, let's head over to the Apple website and see what's on offer. Well, hello there. Welcome. Hello. Welcome to the different camera angle. We're now on my desktop and we're about to basically head over to the Apple website. I have three tabs open. I got the iPhone tab, which we can pretty much compare all the iPhones over here. 
We then have a second tab for the iPhone 8, and we also have a final tab for the iPhone X, also known as the iPhone 10. It's, it's very confusing. Now, it's like iPhone 8 is basically the iPhone 7S, and it's called the iPhone 8. And then, obviously, the iPhone X is basically the iPhone 10, because obviously, X in the Roman numerals is 10. So if you head over to the iPhone section on the Apple UK website, it's like, welcome, you know, iPhone X, say hello to the future. And you can obviously pre-order on the 27th of October. And as of today's date, it is the 17th of September. So when this video does go live, I do have like what we're, we're saying way over a month, like way over a month to read your comments, whether or not you guys can persuade me to buy the iPhone X or I should wait maybe for later on in the year for a cheaper price. I don't know because if you pre-order on the 27th of October, it's available on the 3rd of November, which yeah, I guess is pretty cool. Whereas if you look at the iPhone 8, I believe the iPhone 8, the pre-order date was already a few days ago, and I think we can now select that later on, but we'll, we'll see, we'll see. But anyway, this is the iPhone X. Let's go to compare and compare a few models. So we've obviously, we can compare the iPhone X, which is obviously one phone. Basically, if I were to buy a new phone, it would definitely be the iPhone X. The iPhone 8 Plus, the iPhone 8, I mean, 8 Plus, I mean, I like the size of it. I mean, where else could we compare it against? The 7 Plus? Yes, yeah, so we're doing iPhone X, iPhone 8, iPhone 7 Plus. My phone here, basically being the iPhone 6 Plus, it's pretty much the same. Look, it's like if you look at the iPhone 7 Plus and the iPhone 8 Plus and compare it to my phone here, I'll try to get in frame view, it looks exactly the same. It is the same. That, that's why I didn't really upgrade from the iPhone 6 to the iPhone 7. I mean, the iPhone 7, yes, it has a new camera on the back. I mean, my camera is similar, but obviously it's, you know, this one had portrait mode, which obviously I was very jealous of. But anyway, let's go and see. Let's go and see what we have. So, the, so obviously iPhone X on the left, iPhone 8 Plus, and then iPhone 7 on the right. So that's your left to right. So the retina screen, you know, so obviously the, being the iPhone 8 and iPhone 7, same screen. The iPhone X, which is pretty crazy, super. So super retina is what they're calling it. It's saying it's uh, one of the best screens you will ever see or you can buy currently. And pretty much it's just there's more pixels. It's it's basically super retina, which is honestly like super retina. What a name. It's crazy. Anyway, so it's 5.8 inches. Reason why is even though this phone is smaller than this phone, there's not as much like embezzle. So therefore, the only embezzle you really have is this bit here. And obviously, there's no home button anymore. So uh, that's why you get... I, I see, I, For me, that would be like a big game changer where you go from a phone this size to a phone in between the, say, the 6 and the 6 Plus. So like in the middle. And coming from a big phone to a smaller phone, that might benefit me. But I don't know. I wish they made a bigger version. Maybe one day. Who knows? But anyway, the camera, all 12 megapixels, wide angle. The iPhone X obviously has Face ID, which is really cool. Touch ID for the 8 Plus and 7 Plus. The chips. So the iPhone 8 Plus and the iPhone 10 are very, I think, basically have the same performance. But they just have a few different features. And obviously the iPhone 7 and obviously the iPhone 6. You know, that's got the A10 chip. I think the iPhone uh, 6 has like the A9 chip. Uh, I guess the good thing about these two phones, wireless charging, capacity, so my phone has 64 gig, I think for the 7 they, they scrapped that, it was either 32 or 128, on the iPhone 8 Plus and the iPhone X we have 64 and 256 and the iPhone 8 Plus is 64 and 256, so the screen size, so yeah, so the iPhone X, super retina, 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 I mean, you know, this has the the OLED, so the O, O, the O, O, what were you, what were you on about that? The OLED multi-touch screen. I mean, obviously, it's an LCD screen, LCD screen. And, I mean, it's, H, I mean, it's, it, the reason why they're calling it Super is because it's HDR display, which, you know, even though you can take HDR photos, you can see a bit of a difference, but having a HDR display all the time is pretty incredible. You know, more pixels than ever before, and, you know, it's mind-boggling. Better contrast ratios and so on and so on. I mean, size and weight, we're not really that first. I mean, weight, the iPhone X weighs a lot less, which is good. It's interesting how the iPhone 7 Plus is lighter than the iPhone 8 Plus. How interesting. How interesting. Uh, yeah, they're all... I mean, yeah, I mean, my phone is not splash or water or dust resist. I mean, I think it is to some extent, but, you know, it's not too big. The chipset, yeah, so A11, A11, I mean, these guys here are rocking out the same, 
that's what I'm saying. The iPhone X and the iPhone 8 Plus are pretty much the same phone, but just has, like, a different look to it. It's like having a car, right? The same car, but one guy's opted for, like, the sport package, and one guy's opted for, like, the standard package. But the same car, same performance. And the iPhone 7, obviously, rocking out the A10 camera-wise. I mean, yeah, look, the same camera. I mean, this one has dual optical stabilization. I mean, yeah, the, the, the main difference between the iPhone X and the iPhone 8 is they almost have the same performance, and I think they do. They just have different options. Like, if you want a better camera, and go for the iPhone X portrait mode and so on and so on so that's what we have here video recording so video recording you can 4k 24 30 60 fps same here 1080p blah 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 i mean pretty much the same specs their front camera i mean that this used to be the facetime hd which i think the iphone 6 does this has a true depth camera so better front facing camera better but better front facing cameras better front facing selfies photos and all that kind of stuff same aperture, same megapixels, retina flash, so on and so on. But you get portrait mode in front facing and portrait lightning. So port portrait lightning is this new thing which you can add, like, it's like ISO, but you can add, like, you can basically add, like, real time filters, you know, during your photo. Whereas, you know, before it's like you take a photo, do a filter, where now you're like, hey, yep, let me just, you know, so. And you also got the Animoji. So Animoji, what was I talking about? Animoji is that thing where you can have an emoji and you could just say a message in an emoji. Yeah, all that kind of stuff. Blah, 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 blah. I mean, yeah, the usual stuff. I mean, here we go, battery. So this one says it lasts up to two hours longer than the iPhone 7. This one says it lasts about the same as the iPhone 7 Plus. So a little bit better in the battery-wise. Yeah, I mean, same battery wireless charging, so on and so on, headphone, I mean, yeah, that was the other thing, right, the other thing I was thinking about, was like, for me, the iPhone 6, I have a headphone jack, like, I have a headphone jack, which is, for me, is crucial, because I love listening to music, fair enough, I could have wireless, but, you know, over time, I get the train, and it's like, oh, oh, I didn't charge them, so I can't listen to music, and if I'm in the car, and it doesn't have Bluetooth, but it has auxiliary, you know, you know, classic with the radio, not even USB, then, yeah, so, in that case, if I didn't have a headphone jack, then I might, but I'm sure there's a lightning port, which has a head, I think, you, yeah, yeah, you can have a headphone jack if you put the lightning port, there is a, there is an adapter, I believe, but, but no, yeah, I mean, I'm still not a fan of the headphone jack not being there, and, uh, yeah, so, that's pretty much it for most of it, I mean, apparently you can view the, what, tech specs here for the iPhone X? Oh, like, more detail, we've already looked it up at the top, and, okay, that's cool, no worries. So let's have it to the iPhone 8. So if you were to buy the iPhone 8 today, or the iPhone 8 and the iPhone 8 Plus, I'll go for the iPhone 8 Plus because obviously that's the phone I have at the moment. So if you select this, obviously, you know, what would I go for? I mean, I always go for silver, gold, probably go for silver again. And then 64, yeah, so £799. And when is it available? Delivers 22nd of September. So I can have this next week. I don't think the iPhone 8 is selling that well. Um, you know, the iPhone 8 pre-order was a few days ago, and most of the time when you, you know, there's a lot of sales, they push back the date quite often. Even the fact that they've, you know, mass-produced the iPhone 8, or everyone's waiting for the iPhone X. I think everyone's waiting for the iPhone X. So here, the iPhone X is coming, and this is £999, which is crazy. iPhone 8, 799 I mean, that's roughly what I paid, or maybe 750 for the iPhone 6 Plus. But £1,000 is crazy. And obviously, you can go for the silver or the black. I think the silver looks incredible. Uh, and then obviously, 64 gig and so on. But I don't know. It's very, very interesting. What do you guys think? Please let me know. So that was a quick comparison between the iPhone X, the iPhone 8, and obviously the iPhone 7 Plus. And, you know, it, it's, it's pretty good. Let me know if you want to see, like, more videos like this. Please let me know. But anyway... Let's jump back to the other camera. Let's talk about a quick summary about what our findings are and so on and so on. And uh, yeah, it should be uh, pretty good. So there we go. That was us quickly browsing the Apple website. I always love going on the Apple website. Always uh, good to look around and see what's on there. So like the other day I went to the Apple store. And I think like, it's crazy how the Apple store is like almost like a fashion statement where you go in there and there's just hundreds of people just going in there browsing the web it's just unbelievable i mean the way apple do things is honestly incredible but anyway 
yeah, that was it, you know, iPhone 8, iPhone 10, £200 difference, and obviously the iPhone 10 allowing you to do certain different things, and obviously the front-facing camera's been improved, so you can do, like, those little cool, like, custom emojis, I don't know, like, I don't know if it's worth it or not, I mean, at the moment, I am trying to save, I mean, a £1,000 is, like, quite a lot of money, you know, so I think I'm going to probably, prob may maybe, 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 because when this video goes live, which is pretty much today, which is the 17th of September, the pre-order time for the iPhone X comes out in October. So I do have a few weeks to the side, but I might miss this one until my phone actually breaks. I think once my phone does break, then fair enough, I need a new phone. But at the moment, like I said, I use it for social media, Pokemon, YouTube, emails, texting my friends. And at the moment, it does the trick. So I think at the moment, I might pass. But like I said, this video is for you guys to comment down below on whether or not I should or not. It's going to be interesting. We're excited to read your comments and to reply to a bunch of you guys. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you have enjoyed today's video, then be sure to leave a massive thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Comment down below your thoughts regarding the iPhone X. Are you buying the iPhone X, the iPhone X? It's, uh, it's crazy. Everyone's like, Matt, where's the iPhone 9? Well, I don't know. They've just said, like, where's the iPhone 7S? <laughs> I mean, they just said, the iPhone 8 is it's better. But yeah, it's it's crazy, crazy, crazy time. And I don't know. It's uh, I, I do want to get I do really want to get a new phone, but when I'm saving, I mean a thousand pounds is a is a lot of money for a phone, which my current phone does everything I need it to do. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful day, and I'm seeing you guys in my next video. Adios, chaps. Boom.